Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be my January beauty favorites video. I want to start this year off strong. I'm like, I'm gonna do a freaking January favorites, damn it. I don't have that many favorites, but I'm gonna do one because I want to be dedicated to these favorites videos. I haven't like missed a month, I don't think. Have I missed a month? I feel like maybe I have missed a month, but it's been a long time. It is the first month of beauty, so I'm so, so, so excited for 2016. It's gonna be such an awesome year. I have Really fun stuff planned for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy them. But yeah, as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you weren't already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny. Welcome to my channel. But yeah, let's go and get into this favorites video. <laughs> cool, so first things first. First favorites of this month is definitely going to be this bitch right here. I know this is not out till February, technically it's like not out yet, but I just got it recently and it is Patrick's Formula X collaboration. It's like a little video that plays. Hi, I'm Patrick Star. I'm a PG That's my best friend. Lover. We're here today shooting the Formula X. It makes me emotional because I'm so proud of him. Okay, so I'm gonna cry. What the fuck's wrong with me? Patrick teamed up with Formula X. He's a color curator for this year. Every month, a new color curator happens. And he is the color curator for February. And I just recently got this package, and I just want to say how proud I am of Patrick. He did a three nail polishes with them. They are these three right here. It's, I mean, it is February, so he chose pink ones because it is like the February is like the month of love. And I think he did such an amazing job with picking the colors. They're awesome. The lightest one is a She Better Work. The pink one is Yes, and the glittery one is Lucky Star, so I think these are so great. I definitely want to try on one of the colors. Maybe I'll put on, like, She Better Work on, like, a pinky or something. I don't really know. I'm so proud of you, Patrick, for doing this collaboration. It is so amazing. I can't wait to go to Sephora and see your face inside Sephora. Oh, my God, that's just so freaking sick. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. One day, I'll be right there with you. It's not today. But one day. I could not be more proud of Patrick. I think he did so amazing. Good job, Patrick. Mwah. Love ya. As I said earlier, I do not have a lot of products for this month's favorites, but I do have two products from Anastasia that I released recently inside January. I believe they released in January. I'm not quite sure. But I have the new Anastasia Brow Definer. You guys, honestly, like, I'm obsessed with the brow definer. It is a brow pencil. Anastasia has the Brow Wiz, which is a gray brow pencil as well, but this one is tapered on one edge and it's a little bit thicker on the other edge so it's great at getting more of a full effect or a really thin effect whatever you you want to do and to create with it you can because it is shaped in the way it is it is seriously just the best i honestly love it it's so easy to use i'm not really the biggest fan of brow pencils honestly that's just not my style i don't like brow pencils very much but this one is so good I'm so impressed. Like, I'm honestly just so impressed. Huge congrats to them. Like, they're killing it. Anastasia's brand is just fucking slaying everyone's life right now. And I think they're awesome. And I love them as people, too. I think they're great. In my opinion, this is better than the Brow Wiz. I will not even be using the Brow Wiz anymore. I'm only going to be using the Definer because I think it's that bomb. Truly, it is. It's just such a good product. And I don't know. I just love it. I think it's like the Brow Wiz times five. <laughs> So next is the Anastasia Glow Kit in the That Glow shade. You guys, the Glow Kit too, I'm telling you, Anastasia killed it this motherfucking month. Such an awesome kit. I think it's so great that it comes with four colors. You can mix and match them. They are a very high reflecting shine if you build them up. You swatch, oh my god, you swatch them and like you just fucking get fucked. In a good way, in a good way. The colors are absolutely stunning. I think they're right here, can you see? The pigmentation is phenomenal. I think they're great because you can build up this product. It's not a put on right away and it's like bam, like intense highlighting. I like that kind of highlight, but not everyone does. And so I think they did a really great job at making these buildable. And so when you put on a layer of it, it's a nice glow and it's beautiful on the skin. But when you put on like two to three, it's like intense, shining, bright like a diamond, like intensity which I love, that's my style. I love to do like really intense highlighting. I'm wearing one of the kits today. Not this one, I'm wearing the pink one, but I think that if you guys were to get one of the two, I would go with that glow. I'm a big fan of golden like highlighters, so this is definitely me, this is my style. I absolutely love it. I think they did an awesome job with these. Let's do more face stuff. Let's do a little drugstore item that I want to talk about really quickly. I want to talk about the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. It's the foundation I'm actually wearing today. I think this foundation is so freaking nice. It's beautiful. It is buildable coverage, gives you a luminous finish. It's so comfortable on the skin. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing foundation, honestly, and I feel like my face does look really, really nice and 
all one color. It's not like intense. However, though, because I am more on the oily side, I need to do a mattifying primer and set it with a powder throughout the day because it will break up on me a couple hours later if I don't do that because I am really, really, really oily. This is definitely a foundation that's meant for more of people that are normal to dry, but if you're oily, you can totally work with it. You can make this work, man. You can make this work. It is seriously so bomb. I'm in the shade N3.5. It's cool because you get like a little, it's like a little cushion. Eh. I can open this fucker. It's literally like a little cushion and you like press onto it and it gives out like the color. I actually just dip a kabuki brush in it. I'll just dip a brush into it and just... I honestly have no bad words to say about this besides the fact that it's more for dry people and I'm not dry. But I think it's absolutely amazing. So if you guys can try out the True Match Lumi cushion, it is bomb. Honestly, like I feel like the drugstore prices, aren't they going up? Like, am I just tripping? But I feel like the drugstore prices of things, like they're going up. I feel like they're getting a little, they're going a little ham. I'm like, bitch, you drugstore, though. Stay in your lane. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but the price is going up. Next item for the face is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. I have been using this all month. I'm in the shade SX02. This is a little tub concealer. You guys, it might not look like I've gone through anything, like, but I have used this so much. A little bit goes a tremendously long way. It is a full coverage, creamy concealer, so that means you do need to set it with a powder because it will... Crease on you if you don't, I promise you it will crease like a motherfucker. So you want to definitely set it with powder like the Laura Mercier Translucent for example. I'll put it on underneath my eyes in the T-zone and like a little bit on the forehead and it looks absolutely stunning. It's very, very bright. I'm wearing it today and I think it looks gorgeous. I think it looks seriously freaking gorge. It is pricey though. I remember it was like really expensive. I was like, <sighs> Right in the heart, just fucking turn the knife. It was expensive. With the amount of product that you get, I'm not kidding you guys, like I will n probably never go through this in my entire life. This will be like the one I have for my whole life. I will never go through this. Besides the fact that it is really, really creamy and it will crease on you, if you don't set it, I love this. Mwah, Kevin Kwan, you sexy fucker. Wait, what are you sexy? I don't even know what he looks like. Next and last face product that I wanted to talk about was the Marc Jacobs Instamark Mirage Filter. I don't know what this is called, but it's like basically the duo. You guys, honestly, like this is seriously one of the best banana under eye powders I've ever tried. If not the best, it is so finely milled, so smooth, just absolutely amazing. I know like when it first came out, a lot of people were talking about it and they were saying like how bomb it was, but I never tried it because I'm like, yo, this is fucking expensive. Like I'm not gonna even go near that. But I went to an event recently this month in New York and it was Marc Jacobs Beauty and I got one of these and I'm like, you know what? I really need to try this out. So I tried it. It is the best under eye powder I've ever tried. It is, ugh, it is just so beautiful. It gives you like an, almost like an airbrush finish. It's very brightening. I haven't even tried this color yet. I feel like it's a very, very cool tone. Color. I bet it's a nice color to contour with though. I totally bet it, it is. I've only tried the under eye highlighting powder and I've been using it like nonstop. I've tried it like, I literally worn it like five times and every single time I'm like, my under eyes though, what the fuck? If you guys want a really great under eye powder, it might break the bank. It might break the fucking bank. It is expensive AF, but it is truly an amazing product. Last two items, guys, it's the last two. Okay, so the next item I wanna talk about is actually the color I'm wearing on my lips. It is the Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted Liquid Lipstick. I think this color is so beautiful. Dose, Dose and I go way back. We really don't, but I think I, we do. I think that the Dose Liquid Lipsticks are one of the best liquid lipsticks on the market. I think they're absolutely stunning. And the fact that they just keep putting out amazing colors, it just it makes me so happy because I feel like their products are just getting better and better and better and better. And they just released, I know they just recently did the Ideal Duos. I've tried one so far. I've only tried it once, so I'm not gonna say like that I love it or not because I don't really know how I feel about it yet. But I know for like a fact that the liquid lipsticks are my obsession. They're creamy, they dry beautifully, they don't feel heavy on the lips. They're very, like, they're completely dry, but I don't feel like it's drying my lips out, which I love. This is, that's why I love the Dose Liquid Lipstick so much. Chocolate Wasted, it's part of their new collection they, that launched this month, and I've worn it a couple times already, and I'm like, <sighs> why is this so good? And last but not least, I wanted to talk about another really cool, like, indie Instagram brand. It is the Melt Stack. This is the Radioactive Stack, and I really wanted to talk about this because I've tried a couple of the colors already, and I think... They are amazing. This is the stack that's like neon. Do you guys see? It's like a super cool bright stack. So this is basically your pop of color stack. This is an awesome way to incorporate pops of color into your life without having to buy like whole palettes and things like that or like individual shadows. Melt, like I'm not kidding, like they do such amazing shadows. It's insane. Let's watch them. Let's watch them. 
bright ass orange, like bright AF. Oh my God. Like so pigment, yellow is very hard to get pigmented. So the fact that this is like pigmented is insane. God, they're gorgeous, honestly. Look at this. Do you see this? It's insane. It's insanity is what it is. They remind me of Dose in a way because they are like more of an indie Instagram-y brand that's not really at any stores online, but they're at Fame Expo and stuff like that. So I really do love those so much. I want to use them more. I want to use them like, I don't know, I want to do like a really cool, intense, like neon-y tutorial with them because I think they're stunning. You're going to get a fallout with these ones. They're just so pigmented because they're such bright, intense colors. When something's so ultra pigmented, it's gonna have fallout, it's gonna be a little bit more loose because it's packed with more pigment, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to work with. Not like to work with necessarily, but it is gonna be a little bit harder to get no fallout. Okay, so, but I mean, honestly, I don't even care because they're worth it. Fallout to me is not that big of a deal. And I think you guys should definitely check out the Melt Radioactive stack. The other stacks are amazing, I have all of them, but this one's really, really, really cool and they just launched this one and I'm so happy for them. Like, if the Melt is doing so great and I think they're such an awesome brand. So yeah, I love them. <laughs> And that is it for my entire January favorites video. I had so much fun creating this for you guys. Let me know what you guys loved in January. I am so excited for this new year to happen. I'm just so ready. I'm so ready. Like I've been, oh my God, I'm so ready. I'm just ready for my palette to launch. Like honestly, like I'm so fucking ready. You guys have been such troopers with me throughout this experience. It's been so tough, like waiting. I'm like so impatient with that, that kind of thing because it was supposed to be out like a month ago. When it wasn't, I was like, what do you mean that's not coming out in December? <laughs> but honestly, like things happen, like it's all good. Things happen, you know, I'm healthy. My followers are healthy. My family's healthy. Like I'm, I have a great life. My life's awesome and I can't whine about the little things. You know what I mean? So my palette is coming out though. Don't, do not worry. <laughs> I know it's like so frustrating to not be able to get it. And I'm very frustrated about it, but it's gonna happen, you guys. I promise you, like, we haven't forgot about it. It's happening. It will be an awesome palette, and I hope you guys love it just as much as I do, and I want it to be perfect. Other than that, all my favorites will be linked down below if you guys are interested in buying anything. And if I have any discount codes, I'll leave them down below as well. I probably won't because I'm not, I don't have any brushes in this video or anything like that, which is shocking for me. Honestly, January was such an amazing month. You know, it's been a busy freaking month. It's been so crazy, but it was so fun. And uh, I hope you guys' this January was amazing as well. Other than that, I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. I love you so much. Mwah. <laughs> I'm looking at my viewfinder right now intensely. But I like to be more foolish coverage. Foolish. I said foolish. It's okay, man. Y'all just fucking... It's fine. It's fine. Calm the fuck down. I'm a big fan of golden glows. What? Mom! This bitch gonna be in Sephora, so... Look at his little... Let's look at his photos real quick. Like, stop. Look at... Like, adorable. Like this bitch is in going inside the forum. In my opinion, it's better than the brow wheels. Like I will not use the brow wheels. Rolls. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Say a little prayer. Like so good. <laughs>